train us across the globe and welcome to the 1,535th installment of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni. Good evening, traders. This 1,535th video is coming to you on a Monday night for trading Tuesday. That would be October 25th, 2016. I almost called it 15, could you imagine? <laughs> 2016. Traders, before we get to the topics on the board, you must know that futures trading is extremely risky, causes substantial financial losses, certainly not suitable for all traders. You can really get hurt in this game more than you expect to lose if you don't know what you're doing. Always put your stops in first. Always know a stop is your best friend. And come on down to livewithoscar.com and hang out with me in my free trading room and I'll help keep you in check. So, what's on the board? Traders, for trading on Tuesday the 25th and maybe into Wednesday, finally we get a buy signal. Hooray! We go from neutral to bullish, finally. It's been days, right? Hey, we've spent, we've spent a lot of time slumming in the other markets, but we've done well, right? Thank you, Army, there, right? So, back to the E-mini S&P, at least the NASDAQ we're going to start off with. NASDAQ. Clear-cut signal, looks like we should be long, we'll follow that signal, we'll start off with the green omni and we'll go from there. So, finally a buy signal emerges, but we are not completely out of the woods just yet, and I will show you some charts that will show you why. Yes, the buy signal looks decent, yes, the chart looks decent on the NASDAQ, but you got to be a little careful. It's not just the NASDAQ that we gauge the markets by. You've got S&P, you've got Dow, you've got Tranny, you've got the DAX, you've got the Russell, you've got to look at the package. We'll at least look at one or two other charts and see what the package looks like, but not completely out of the woods yet. We will start off with the buy signal. Then, gold looking heavy, if you ask me, that looks heavy. I'll show you the chart. And the round of applause for King Dollar. What a monster. Go, dollar, go. Now, the dollar has been rallying. The gold has not been rallying. The bonds have not been rallying. The stock market has been stabilizing. That equals interest rate hike. You may not think so. It doesn't matter what you think. I know what I'm talking about up here. 35 years deep, what I just told you equals interest rate hike. Now, of course, the political arena suggests that the Fed will absolutely wait until right after the election. It's, I mean, it's a couple of weeks from now, but you never know. I will say this, the action on the charts tells someone like me of 35 plus years an interest rate hike is coming. We'll see where it goes. So, starting off with the green omni, do not like the gold. King dollar looking beautiful. There's a couple of other markets that we will be trading at live with Oscar.com. So come on down to the free trading room where I can show you what those markets are and where we're getting in and out. Traders and Omni Camp will be held live here in Las Vegas. Four days, you and me here in Las Vegas. I will teach you and five others to learn how to come up with the Omni, Oscar's Market Navigational indicator. You, if you would like to come up with Omni Trades yourself, and I will teach you how to come up with these Omni Trades. You will learn how to fish and feed your family. You come on down to livewithoscar.com, click the OmniCamp application, fill it out, a couple of quick questions, and I will call you and personally qualify you for one of the seats, either January 26th through 31st, or Feb 9th through 14th. One camp will be held these two are possible dates. It's going to be one of these dates or the other. The first few Omnicampers that I approve for Omnicamp will decide which of these two dates are best. Call me, 702-629-4755, and we will qualify you if you don't fill out your Omnicamp application. With no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the NASDAQ Daily Bar... A buy signal? Is that what we're finally getting after all these days of neutral? It looks like we probably are, and I'll show you why. Nice little channel moving higher. Held the average, held the average and the channel, held the average and the channel, bouncing off the average, moving up nicely. So here's what your NASDAQ daily looks like. These are all-time forever highs. Highest it's ever been, highest it's ever been, where it went on Monday. Interesting, right? 
Let's take a look at the same exact chart. We're just going to zoom in a little bit on it. This red line represented previous contract all-time highs. We have traded this high so far. So you have actually gotten slightly over that red line, telling us that we should now continue on in this direction, and that's what your NASDAQ should end up looking like at some point tomorrow. Of course, our stops will be in just in case it doesn't work out, but this looks good, this breakout looks good, you got to love what you're seeing in NASDAQ, and Omni is bullish. So there's your NASDAQ. The DAX, look at that equally. The DAX blowing out on the upside. If you look, your DAX is all the way up here now. This is a wonderful thing. DAX made it all the way to here. Wham! Above this trend line, above the resistance, beginning to break out. you got to love what you're seeing there. But then, the brakes come on. All right, so... This even looks slightly bullish, but that is absolutely still a bear flag. For this moment in time, right now at this exact moment on Monday night, we are still inside of this flag, right? We're sitting here. So the top of the flag is obviously right here. So right now for your Russell and your E-mini S&P, this is your situation. For the DAX and the NASDAQ, you see, I just showed you the charts, we're breaking out. But this situation is here, bear flag plus OTAPMA in the Russell, we can't ignore it. Yes, it's holding OTAPMA, wonderful, but you can't ignore the bear flag yet. Maybe we get a nice blow off through the flag sometime today, being Tuesday, and we'll see where it's going to go. Traders, here's your goal. Big, big channel. We've, we were in for a long, long time. Sort of right near the top of the channel. Started testing the average. Broke down. Got through the channel. What's interesting about that is we don't always get through the channel, right? Held. 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 Back up again. This time, boom, through the channel and creates a bear flag. What does the bear flag do? It runs up and just about hits the red line again to test it and starts moving back down. That is a well-defined bear flag below the channel, bearish on the gold for trading on Tuesday. And why? Well, look at how strong the almighty dollar index is. Go dollar! Mighty dollar index creates an Oscarism. F flag breaks out of the F flag. Still looks good there. Above the 200 ball moving average. Fantastic looking chart is your dollar index. Traders, that's what I wanted to show you this evening. Come on down to livewithoscar.com and I'll help you get through these rough and tumble markets one hour at a time. So, traders, you've seen the charts. You've got my technical argument for why we say, finally, a buy signal emerges, but we are not completely out of the woods. You've seen the charts. Very compelling. Gold looking heavy. You see the bear flag right in the channel. You can't deny that. And good old King Dollar is acting like good old King Dollar. All right, traders, join me at LiveWithOscar.com. Remember, if you want to learn how to call the markets and read the charts like I do... You come to LiveWithOscar.com and click your OmniCamp banner, fill out your application because I am going to now start filling these seats. I've waited for some applications to come in. I will wait for a couple of more days for yours to come in. Then I'm going to plow through my applications and weed you guys out and figure out which five are coming out here. If you get a chance, remember, meet me at LiveWithOscar.com. I'll see you there. Remember, keep your emotions out of trading. One of the best things you can do, in my opinion, is say this to yourselves every morning, every afternoon, every evening, and you know what that is. Stop so. Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided.